What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. Thanks for tuning in. Another fresh episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. There has been a database and a firmware update release, whatever you want to call it, um, that includes updates for the XR8 Pro G3. It includes the new HV Seeking speed controls, as well as some other updates for various new models that got released. And part of that is an update to the classic multifunction LCD program box. Now this update only applies to the LCD Program Box Pro that has the uh, USB Type-C and the blue lettering. It's not going to work with the older versions of this box. And it makes it compatible with some of the speed controls that have been released since this was discontinued. So a lot of the newer speed controls that just came out that this didn't work with before, after this update it's going to make that happen. Uh, so to get started there's a link in the description down below to get the usb link program uh, from the hobby wing website this only works on windows it does not work on macs and it doesn't even work if you're running like an emulated windows on your mac is what we've been finding so don't try that uh, you do need a definite data cable uh, this particular computer is weird it needs one of these goofy adapters and then a data cable i'm not sure why but that's how it works so keep that in mind if you've got all like type C's, check your computer configurations. And the one thing that gives it away, if this is gonna work or not, if it's a data cable, is that when you plug these guys in, um, it makes the chime, like the Windows chime, like when you're plugging in a new mouse or a new hard drive, something like that. So if you've never installed the USB link software before, it's pretty straightforward. It's a zip file download that you download that file, you uncompress that or decompress it, unzip it, whatever the case may be. Your program should, your computer should do it for free. Don't buy anything. I've had people tell me that, that to pay to open the program that, that shouldn't be the case it's a right click and then decompress or unzip whatever your computer option is and from that folder you can find the hobby wing usb link start icon or the install icon and you can go from there it's basically just like any other way you've installed anything on a pc that's a zip file so it's pretty straightforward it. if you want to save yourself a quick step you go up to device first and then you select LCD program box from there uh, if you don't it, you just have to do it after the fact so I plug myself in light comes on this guy goes to automatic connect and then away we go it pops right into the uh, update screen and you can see here it lists your current firmware version and your available firmware version uh, it's on 19 it has 20 available so i don't have to select anything i just go up here i click on upgrade uh, it tells me what's available with all these changes that are coming into play which is always nice and then it goes through this process uh, we'll let this play through And then once you get done, it says upgrade, operate, finish successfully, hit OK, and you're good to go after that. And it does confirm that that is the new updated firmware. Um, that's all there is to it. It puts a new database and firmware onto the LCD program box, the uh, G2 version, so that it works with more of the newer style speed controls. And then just to show, it works the same basic way for the Pro version as well. And it just says connecting a USB. This particular one's already been updated, but the process is basically the same. You can use a data cable to do updates on this as well. You can also update this using the Bluetooth and the app on your phone, but in case you don't have that available, this is a good backup option, but the process works pretty much exactly the same. So some of the troubleshooting tips, uh, if you do run into it where it doesn't want to connect and nothing happens like we've shown in the video here, um, usually is the candy indication that you don't have a data cable. So just try a couple different USB cables because that usually takes care of it. Otherwise, close the program plug your device in and give your windows some time to install the usb drivers this is the computer i use for this all the time so it tends to always have the drivers in it but if you've never done this before the first time you plug one of these in like i said it's a lot like when you do a new uh, mouse or keyboard or hard drive windows takes a couple minutes to sort out new drivers and get those installed so that's something that these have to do as well if you do have any questions comments or concerns please shoot us an email north america at hobbywing.com we also do a podcast. It's called RC Stuff, powered by Hobby Wing. You can find it on your favorite podcast service. We give away free RC Stuff each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Another episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time. <laughs>